Las Vegas. How's it going out there tonight? I'd like to thank Stan for giving us this great club to do this, our artwork. This is awesome. What would you guys like to hear, a story or a joke? Okay, I got a joke. This guy, he's got no arms or legs, and he's looking for a job in the paper. So he goes down to Notre Dame, talks to the guy. The guy says, yeah, come on in. He hops up the stairs, gets up there to the top, sees the rope, and he hops over, starts banging the bells. Boom, boom, boom. But then he slips. Ah. The supervisor comes over and says, do you know this guy? Sir, I don't know, but his face rings a bell. That goes with the Notre Dame that burned up and Trump wants to build it next day. Yep, that's why I got that one. Oh, so I, 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 Destiny's not here and I asked her to come and you know what club she works at. <coughs> she don't work in no club, but I asked her to come tonight. So I'm kind of bummed that she's not here. But other than that, let's see. I got the Instagram going last week. I started with four followers. I got 129 as of yesterday. I want to thank you guys for doing that. So tonight, if you would just pump me up, man, just Ronald, M-A-C, separate word, D-O-N-A-L-D, just connect to my Instagram, because we're doing some fun stuff on the YouTube. We're doing the TV. I'm taking off, going everywhere. In fact, I'll be gone for a couple weeks. We'll be on the road doing this comedy, telling dirty jokes, trying to get thrown in jail. Speaking of jail, oh, she, I had Mazda. Judge Watanabe tossed me in jail 90 days for uh, contempt of court. Can you believe that? I was late on my child support. But just like one, one month, right? So I get this summons for court, so I show up. No Judge Watanabe. So it's a continued thing. So another month goes by. This goes on for six solid months. So I wasn't paying the bitch. I wasn't sending my money. Well, no way, man. Judge Watanabe gets me in court. He's like, uh... Ronald, why haven't you been sending in the money? I said, well, sir, I've been investing it. Well, that just pissed him off. Because, see, his parents in World War II, they were interned in Colorado. This was in Colorado. They had a little prison camp down there for all the Japanese people. Anyway, he was a little reverse discrimination. He gave me 90 days contempt of court because I asked him in court. I said, listen, Judge, I got the money in my checkbook. Just tell me how much. What do I got to write this check for? Oh, that pissed him off. So he gave me 90 days. True story. But I got out in 60 because I had good, good behavior. And I had fun down there. Anyway, I showed up. Yeah, and jail, jail's fun, man. You never been to jail? You scared of jail? Every Thursday, you get to buy commissary. You know what this is? It's like a little 7-Eleven. You just order off this piece of paper. You get $60. Plus, you get $30 pocket money if you're in the work release. And I was in the work release because I had three jobs because I'm a type of guy that works hard. Anyway, first Thursday, I spent my 60 bucks. And I hung it in my locker. I taped up every item that I purchased. Jerky, noodles, beans, whatever the hell I could buy. I was going to sell it in jail. That's what I did. I told everybody in my cell block, cell block G, I said, I got everything for sale. Because we had $30 cash money in our pockets. So Friday, nobody's buying. Saturday, I started getting a few buys. I'd pay 75 cents on jerky. I'd sell it for $1.50. Simple business. What happens by Sunday? These people are stir crazy. They're buying everything. I would sell out every week. And every week I'd buy $60 more. And the sheriff would come up and he goes, Ronald, I don't know how you do it, but you, you go through a lot of food. So anyway, I was in there 60 days. I never had to buy any food. I gained 20 pounds because I ate my own product, right? Cheetos and whatever else, ramen. But that's how I did it. That's how I enjoyed jail. There was other times guys, couldn't read or write, so I had to write their kite. That's a little letter you got to write. So you can hit, catch the right bus and all this. I'd write their kite for them or put it in good words for them. And on Sunday, Jesus, we'd have a little service. We'd say, Dr. Jesus, we love him. we just do that on Sundays. So, yeah, I like jail. It was kind of like camp. So don't be scared of it. Don't be scared of Judge Wantanabe. Gee whiz, that guy, I know because I was in there reading the paper. This rich guy got thrown in the slam. He was late on his child support by 120000 I missed a payment of 420000 That was not worth it for him, but he just wanted to make a 
you know, make a statement. Because I, I was in there, I was in there in court. I didn't have a lawyer because I saw that movie. What was that movie there where the guy, uh, Goodwill Hunting, he de defended himself? I saw that movie. Well, that didn't work because he, <laughs> he took me back in the, in the chambers. He said, Ronald, see these two lines of books, these red books? This is Colorado statute. He said, but in this courtroom? He says, I'm the law. And then he proceeded to come out in court and call me a liar in open court. And I didn't have no lawyer to defend me. I'm just sitting there going, oh, geez, this is coming down. And it came down. But I survived it. So don't be scared of jail, man. Jail is a good thing. For me, it was. Because I really didn't do nothing, really. I didn't think I committed no crime. I mean, in life, I've done a lot more than that. So you guys, thank you very much. Thanks for the support. Get me on the Instagram. We'll see you next time when I'm back in town. Thank you, Las Vegas.